Hello to everyone once again. My name is Chris Carras. I will be presenting the paper entitled Download Speed Optimization in Peer-to-Peer -peer Networks Using Decision-Making and Adaptive Learning. This is a joint work with my brother and colleague Aristides and the professors Konstantinos Yotopoulos, Ioana Yanuku, Dimitrios Cholis and Spiros Yutas. Uh, starting with the introduction, uh, peer-to-peer -peer networks aim to secure information in a decentralized distributed topology. The multi-arm bandit, or also known as the MAB problem, uh, proves to be a useful tool to analyze the problem of, of optimizing new peer connections. So in this work, we outline the new peer scenario described as a reinforcement learning problem with uh, multi-arm bandits in order to identify the fastest peer to download from during the connection process. So the MAP problem generally involves case old machines which are also uh, named one-arm bandits and they basically pay out reward values according to an internal distribution of which though the agent is not aware. So the aim is to choose a strategy to learn which arms uh, pays out the most in order to maximize the total reward over a set number of rounds. So in this scenario we want to maximize the speed. Moving on to the motivation of this work, consider the case of a peer-to-peer -peer network where a new peer joins with uh, intent to be uh, brought up to speed with the rest of the network as soon as possible. So it means to download all the data in the network from the other peers as fast as possible. However, the new peer does not have uh, prior knowledge for the network speed of its um, successors or predecessors, only just how much data it receives over time when it chooses to when it chooses a peer and receives data from uh, this peer in one or more time steps. So the reward is the average number of bytes, where we refer to um, bytes as UDB datagrams, received across the number of time steps spent on that action. So the agent should aim to choose the peer which is transmitting the fastest. However, consider that um, in networks, the speeds change as the networks are dynamic and the optimal seed to lead from uh, will not always be the best, meaning that the, the first period and the fastest might um, uh, become the second and the second peer might become the, the first. So we simulate these dynamics by assigning each peer a set of possible states as well as a transition matrix of probabilities to transist from one state to another at each time step. A uh, few words about the multi-arm bandit problem. Uh, the scenario we described before can be solved utilizing the multi-arm bandit uh, approach where each peer is considered as an arm in the MAB algorithm. So the agent will choose to pull an arm and receive reward for a certain number of time steps. During every time step, the network dynamics shift, as we said, and each arm may transist to another uh, one of its states. This happens regardless if the arm is selected or not. So generally, this creates greater variance in average uh, reward payout, which serves to simulate the noise present in real-world network, system, uh, network systems. Therefore, the trial and error methodology of the MAB agent fits the learning requirements under these constrained conditions. Uh, in this work, we studied uh, various algorithm, uh, algorithms in order to solve the MAP problem and we select few and implement them in order to evaluate their uh, efficiency against the, the, the problem we studied. The choices are um, many, however, we focus on these uh, three. Uh, we have the E greedy or Epsilon greedy, uh, which is a simple method that balances exploration and exploitation by choosing between exploration and exploitation randomly. So the epsilon greedy, uh, where the epsilon refers to the probability of choosing to explore or exploit, uh, most of the times um, have a small chance of exploring. So it's a generally balanced algorithm. We have the e, e first or epsilon first, which is a two-phase strategy where the agent starts with a purely exploratory phase, and then the exploitation phase follows up the exploration uh, phase takes place during uh, the first trials and the purpose is to get um, sufficient knowledge in order to identify the arm that provides the hi highest expected rewards. 
and then we have the upper confidence bound or UCB banded algorithm. So this algor algorithm, rather than performing uh, the exploration by selecting an arbitrary action chosen with a probability that it remains constant, constant which is a, a value of C in the algorithm, you change the uh, exploration exploitation balance while it gathers more knowledge of the er environment. We will see more details about these algorithms in the next uh, couple of uh, slides. Moving on the methodology on the uh, epsilon greeting, as we said, the the E first or uh, E greedy is a strategy. Basically, E first is um, another variation of the E greedy, which uh, strategy in which only exploration is done using the initial T rounds, and pure exploitation occurs during the remaining rounds. So the number of rounds, also um, referred to as uh, steps, is defined as T per round. So this forces exploration, uh, meaning peak rewards are delayed, but uh, as a trade-off, we have a broader experience. So the algorithm exploits the um, the other peers in a better way. Additionally, uh, we have the E decreasing, which is more uh, E greedy variant. What about the initial uh, epsilon value or epsilon um, zero is decreased over the number of rounds completed. So in particular, the probability of exploration at a given time t is defined as the um, equation one, where e has to be uh, greater than zero. And generally in related works, the values for uh, epsilon zero are typically not in the interval of 0 0.1, as the other algorithms we will see. Uh, instead, there are values of 1, 5, and 10. Moving on to another technique, which is the softmax, also named as the Boltzmann exploration. Uh, it performs action decision based on the probability matching uh, method, where each arm A of K arms holds an associated probability of form uh, of uh, equation 2, where QA is the estimated action value, associated with an action A. The hyperparameter of the softmax uh, algorithm is T, which is called the temperature. Another variant of this method is the EXP3, utilizing the idea of the uh, Boltzmann exploration and the probability matching. Here, each arm A of K arms has an associated probability as shown in equation 3. Uh, this is a probability of being pulled at time t, so the single hyperparameter gamma indicates the learning rate. The weights uh, associated with, it, with each action of A at a time t are denoted as WAT. And then we have the UCB algorithm, uh, where least taken actions are prioritized during the exploration phase, and once it's um, once the estimated action values uh, are sublighted, the exploration phase uh, follows up. So UCB exploits the action with the highest estimated reward, and this action uh, selection is derived, derived from the following um, equation uh, as shown in 4, where QTA is the estimated value of uh, an action A at a time T. Uh, C is the confidence value hyperparameter that controls the level of uh, exploration. And NTA is the number of times the action A has been selected prior to time T. Next, we have the simulation methods. So we create a peer-to-peer -peer scenario, uh, and we have two ways we uh, simulate peers. So the initial method is to create a peer setup for this uh, work, which is comprised from a set of five single-state peers we name init5. So we create some uh, peers which are static, single state. Um, and then we have this, this simple layout, but we also um, uh, have this method, which is more um, complicated, where we have the, we name this method as pro10, where we create each uh, time, uh, we produce 10 peers uh, generated randomly based on the uh, Poisson distribution and based on the normal distribution. And then we basically uh, compared those two methods for uh, the results 
based on the algorithmic choices we make. Moving on to the experimental results, and particularly in the step size, each algorithm we create um, completes 1,000 runs with a fixed number of n steps. And in the first steps, uh, in the first experiments, we test for uh, n equals to 1 and n equals to 20. So these are the number of uh, steps. And this number of steps relates to how long the peer will be receiving data from its peers. So this number is varied in order to visualize the algorithmic performance in the short term and in the long uh, term. The average reward for each step is averaged across 1,000 runs, uh, 100 runs, sorry, and each of these averages is plotted across the number of steps. Here we have the init 5, as we uh, previously introduced the um, static 5 peers, so this figure shows the general performance of each algorithm when it comes to the set of the static pairs. Here we have the on the x axis we have the step size. Um, here we have one time step per action, and on the y axis we have the average reward over a hundred runs at a step. As we can observe here, the UCB algorithm has the highest average reward across all uh, time steps. And it, we, we also can observe that it has a steady performance across uh, all time steps, meaning that uh, as it peaked here, uh, after a very few time steps, uh, in particular it must be one to two time steps, it um, retained the performance across all the time steps. While the um, blue color represents the epsilon greedy where we can observe that although it took about 10 time steps to reach a good reward then the increase was um, uh, exponential and uh, it kept also the steady performance on the other hand the e first started with a higher reward even with no time step with zero time step uh, it struggled to find uh, an optimal reward until, let's say, for uh, approximately 10 uh, steps. Moving on to another experiment, we have the same algorithms uh, utilizing the second set of peers uh, we previously uh, introduced, meaning the prod, produce 10 peer set. Here we have uh, the representation, the exp3 algorithm uh, seems to peak higher than the softmax compared to the previous figure um, but then they are almost identical so exp3 um, is with purple color and uh, the softmax is with red color they seem to follow the same path of uh, reward but what we can also observe here is that the average reward um, on the UCB peaked at approximately 12 uh, rewards, while before it was um, close to 10. Going on to another experiment, we increase the time steps to 20 rather than uh, to one time step per action. So this is the amount of time steps that the angel that the agent will de dedicate to a particular peer. This shows a slight reduction in the variance of the softmax and exp3. However, uh, it's also noteworthy that the overall average reward peaks higher for each algorithm. Once again, the average uh, reward is higher than 11. Here we can observe that the uh, UCB algorithm, which is uh, highlighted with the green color, on the previous uh, figures and experiments, it picked higher uh, across uh, all different algorithmic choices, but here, where we increase the time steps to 20, the E first or epsilon first overtook and uh, performed the best in this scenario, maintaining its steady performance. Here we have another uh, experiment. So based on the results of the first figure, on and on the first dynamic. Um, creation of peers we uh, saw, we wanted to find out if the softmax uh, algorithm would ever overtake the epsilon greedy. So here we see that 
uh, softmax stabilizes with lower variance compared to the previous results but still has lower performance than the uh, epsilon greedy which is with blue so this assumption uh, was proven to be false as epsilon greedy performed uh, better uh, across all scenarios here we have 1000 steps um, rather than a hundred of steps as the previous results so we wanted to look if um, the increase on the steps would ever um, lead for the softmax to overtake the epsilon greedy <clears throat> Um, some discussion um, about the uh, experimental uh, findings. So according to what we observed, the UCP algorithm performed significantly well in every test scenario. This was anticipated based on our study and conclusions for, uh, from other studies. But uh, it's surprisingly the small number of time steps it required. The methods Epsilon Greedy and Epsilon First performed smoothly, both of them, although they required more time steps to reach a robust performance. E First seemed to struggle in the first 10 learning steps, as we previously said, but then it immediately reaches uh, a performance similar to UCB um, approximately uh, after 10 uh, learning steps, and then the performance is steady. While the Epsilon Greedy eventually got itself to beneath the UCB. So as demonstrated in figures 4 and 5, uh, this is figure 5, this slight um, incompat incompatibility with uh, the reference, we directly compared the softmax to the Epsilon Greedy over a longer period of uh, steps and we tried to get a better understanding. So we were able to determine that the softmax exceeds epsilon greedy for a low number of peers, while as the number of peers increases, e greedy overtakes. So in conclusion, in the context of this peer-to-peer -peer network system presented here, we were able to investigate a variety of well-known uh, MAB algorithms, namely the epsilon greedy, epsilon first, UCB, and many more, each of which produced distinct outcomes. So in terms of performance, the more robust of the group was UCB, while the E first performed almost identically in the example with the one time step per action. This is the first example we, we saw. Increasing the number of peers inside the network causes the average reward value to rise, as it can be anticipated. So there may be a negative relationship between the number of peers and the variance, but this requires further investigation. This suggests that our solution may scale effectively as the number of peers in a network rises. However, the variance connection requires more investigation. Future directions of this work include the implementation of the aforementioned um, poker, algorithm, poker algorithm, which is um, highlighted in the paper, with additional methods in related work, uh, such as the gossip-based algorithm and more aggressive algorithms, uh, well, the outcomes of these future experiments can aid in our comprehension of the performance of more copulated and modern algorithmic choices, in contrast to these uh, more fundamental ones. Moreover, we can create a modification of the behavior of the, of the environment, hoping that the peer-to-peer -peer network would permit various types of user communication uh, within. This will qualify for a more realistic stochastic uh, environment which should make algorithmic performance comparisons more interesting and accurate, similar to a real-world scenario where noise is present across all types of communications. That was pretty much it. Thanks for your attention. I would be delighted to answer any questions. Thank you.